the community I have and I appreciate all the support and all the listening you give me because firstly I'm the most worst spoken person in terms of speech wise and in terms of stuttering and in terms of being slow and in terms of getting to the point I can't I whenever I have to get to the point it's like there's no rush you know I shouldn't be rushing I should be explaining whatever I need to explain although with videos I make it short but thank you so so much for understanding me and thank you so much for tuning in once again to this video if you are not a member yet please kindly join the club please like subscribe and watch any videos relevant to you um and also share i really appreciate that okay i haven't done this in a while i'm not doing videos um or i haven't been doing videos for some time now because of you know i work with timing and also i've been going through there are things that you go through as a healer where you feel like uh, you can't really do much um, that's going to put you out there because it's 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 you know people are gonna see the energy you know people are gonna see the energy I believe energy transfers to your viewers or to to whoever is watching so yeah I haven't been doing that but also I don't post much content because of timing and the understanding of how things work um you know numbers with me take time to grow and for example the video that um that is doing great in numbers is the self-initiate episode one video uh, clarity from the self-initiate so that video that episode is doing great it only started like a couple of months ago doing great and i shot it over a year ago so it's 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 those types of you know things that happen in my life that i understand that's why i i don't do much content um i don't do anything unless it's necessary also my guides had been my teacher guides had been away lord knows where now they're back and now there's just an influx of information that i had laid back but now it's like there's more information on top of that so it's like i have to make contents now so i do apologize if i do keep anyone waiting but it's it's a matter of how i pace myself and how that my guides pace myself me how my guys pace me and also how they pace themselves okay so it's it's, it's, it's very complicated <laughs> but it's 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 okay with me it's okay with me because i understand it now anyways i'm yo my eyes what's this looks super weird with yeah it looks super weird with glasses oh my eyes are just this is killing my eyes Yo, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyways, this is another clarity from a self initiate video. This is going to be about Jobelela mainly. Jobelela from the points I made on the pre on the previous video. So if you have not watched the previous video, please watch it. But also, if you have, and yeah, obviously this is an ongoing topic. It'll never stop. But. I'm here to share some more insights. But what's interesting? Let me start with the most interesting thing. Yet. <laughs> Let me start with the most beautiful, heartwarming. Mm. You know, when my guides explain when my guides explained, um, when my guides explained how okay so with, with, with self-initiation i've always i've always said yo we are unsafe because yeah we go to sleep fine and then next thing in our sleep we're doing some hectic stuff jack and ball z and some you know last a bender stuff you know and we wake up the next morning fine you know, I've always spoke of the non-safety of it. 
you know but it turns out it turns out guys yo <laughs> it turns out and this is so beautiful this is beautiful and i'd like to spread the knowledge of what i found and also i'd like for the knowledge to heal and continue initiating whoever is going through any initiation process at this moment okay so my guides my ascended masters said the reason why there's self-initiation or the reason how our bodies agree remember this has to do with an agreement so the reason why how our the reason how our bodies agree is due to the fact that what happens when you self-initiate is you've got your chakra system right and this chakra system you have your heart chakra right you have your third eye your ajna your throat chakra your crown chakra then you have your heart chakra and then you have your solar plexus right so your solar plexus is where the information arises okay now i'm they're making me channel this oh my gosh okay so your solar plexus is where your information arises right so it arises because your calling comes from your solar plexus right we all know or anything we put it from our lower chakras right from the tummy so that is, that's the solar plexus right so the information is in the solar plexus so it's like the solar plexus sorts out all the stuff and i'm sorry if you knew when i channel i close my eyes but i try by all means to open them but it, it sort of doesn't happen so when you knew i mean when you uh this information right when you are still in the evolutionary stages of you know just figuring out your gifts because you 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 wouldn't be aware or at during that period you're not quite aware that you're initiating or what's going on but you may be aware of your spiritual growth and your development as a person you know but you may not be aware of a depth of how things um are going but it turns out it's really deep and that's where dna activation comes so self-initiates get dna activations more than anything i don't know if you guys know this so the dna there's a there's an information system in your solar plexus that tells your body what to do when it has come across certain um a certain amount of resistance so by the time the body has come across a certain amount of resistance that's enough for you to have a roadblock or enough for you to grow then that's where your dna activation starts opening up because you go through all these ex external things and you go through all these external reminders and then you come back into yourself and then you're like wait a minute i have information on how to get through what i'm going through that's 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 literally it with with self-initiate with self-initiation no matter what no matter what you go through no matter what you do you will always be self-initiating and if you are meant to self-initiate you will start the self-initiation journey if you if you're half initiate or if your guides are including everything that's how how it will be you will always have a, a dna activation right thing is the difference from how i was taught is that with um with physical initiation obviously obviously it's still spiritual growth but there is no dna activation and also there is no information that is stored where the body and the mind can say wait a minute you know there's it, it's a form of technology um for a way forward so that form of technology for a way forward works if you have information about it it's just like any software system right and then with the physical initiation in it's it's the it's the spirit world that is more communicative um it's it's 
it's more about leveling up you know with um physical initiation it's about leveling up getting to certain levels all the time you do something you do a rite or you do a ritual or you do a ceremony whatever that your soul requires or whatever that spirit requires right or whatever i might lose require so with physical initiation you get to um you don't you don't have the technology to go within yourself so um for instance ukobela wami a she's a physical initiate but she she struggles with a lot of research and a lot of content that i find or that she finds for example with tarot cards she she told me that she sometimes goes you know and watches the tarot cards but uh it's 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 for her like she still doesn't understand you know but then she go which which tells me she goes to the content that is sent to her um and she listens to that part of intuition and she listens to whatever that is yeah, it's so in come back on and when she finds it she absorbs the information but then she 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 can't learn from the from the from the information that she has absorbed so with self initiates we absorb information thing is info information for us is energy information gets absorbed and then it starts a matching process my guides are showing me an information matching process where the dna now continues to interact with that information and where when you have information that matches the dna then you are able to access that information and the dna itself gets to do that match and then it gets to activate reactivate recalibrate and you get to self initiate that's it's more about epigenetics it's more about epigenetics in that case right so when you know that it's about epigenetics now i'm i'm speaking to someone whoever who has issues with um within the self initiating process read any epigenetics um sort of book novel or research um also my book i am will definitely um help you with your wherever you are stuck in terms of it touches a bit on <laughs> that's my nephew so if you're hearing those sounds he's okay he's just super hyperactive he just had his second bath and he gets very excited when he gets his bath. Anyways, so yeah, epigenetics. And if you are drawn to any content that sort of promises to, you know, um, heal you by how you receive it or by how you read it, please carry on with that content because that's just how things are. But the other interesting thing is so when you sleep <laughs> when you sleep when you go to sleep when you go to sleep we have um a system right we have a system and it works when you when we are asleep so now the reason why we are safe during our sleep or our journey within sleep is because our energies it's our energies it's energy once once again energy 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 so energy flows right so during the day you are using your head space you are more here around here you know and then as you settle your energy is like you're still around here but there's a force that I'm still yet to understand but there's a force that goes and comes down from within ourselves it descends from within ourselves remember that 
it is, it, it's not external, but it happens from within ourselves, from, let's say from the soul, from the soul star, let's say from the soul star, okay, um, for now. So it descends from there, right? As it descends, it travels with the energy that we have or that we are, our essence, right? Okay, our essence is in our solar plexus, but it travels with the energy with which we function with. So let's say that for now. So the energy with which we function with travels to the heart chakra. Then the heart chakra, what it does is it starts being worked on so it starts being worked on to a point where it responds to this energy and then they start responding to each other to the point where your entire chakra system now is being pushed to activate and then you now receive all these resources on how to activate your chakra system but the first resource is within yourself so it comes from there and then the heart chakra, the reason why it goes to the heart chakra, because your soul template, your spirit is in the heart chakra. So now to move away from human language, we say the heart chakra is spirit. But then um, this is removing the confusion, the confusion of the heart being for um, emotional use etc but if you have ever wondered why people always say your heart is blocked or or you have a cold heart you won't grow or you won't go anywhere um, spiritually etc etc that is because of the heart chakra the heart chakra is where everything is recorded and then it's recorded and stays as energy so if you look at um the heart chakra as this big huge shelf where you have all files like literally all files that's that's literally what goes on in the heart chakra so this energy goes to the heart chakra the energy with which we function with once it goes to the heart chakra it is therefore safe because it is with the most secure being within you and the most secure being within you is spirit. And that's where you start getting healed. And then that's where you start getting insights. And then insight turns into intuition. Then your intuition is developed inside there. So every time when we go to sleep unaware, you know, not knowing, we go to our heart chakra. And then when we wake up, so we've had like five to eight hours of heart chakra work. When you wake up, you wake up. So when you're not aware during those stages, during the, the stages of non-awareness, you wake up and you just feel tired, you feel fatigued, but you feel it. Thing is your body starts sending you information through senses. And you, the reason why, I think we also trust ourselves as self-initiates, but also we we have a little doubt is because we have this these huge senses, huge open senses, where we listen to our bodies when our bodies communicate stuff to us. So the reason why we are all here is because we woke up each and every day, and we were like, I know I'm tired. I know I had a weird night. I know I was somewhere. I don't know where, but nothing is wrong and nothing is bad that is literally how we are comfortable with what is happening with us you know and also because you know where your journey started and so the next person may not you know understand that because they're not in they'll never be in your body so they will never speak on that. Only you will be able to speak on that and what happens to you and your body and your chakras and your emotions. Besides 
the rewiring that happens which i've spoken about we we yeah it's it's before the rewiring starts the journey to the heart i wish your your body's aware of but when you are not aware of so uh, self-initiation is that's why self-initiation is safe but also it's not just about dreams because many of us may self-initiate but also we we know nothing about dreams or we are we 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 don't perceive dreams like sialala and then spool pit but then it's like it, life carries on as normal you don't have a distinct a, a distinct or distinguished dream that you need you can recall that you can write down or whatever you know um it's all about feeling your senses as well because you know when your senses and your energy has picked up and then once that once you're used to that once you're used to your senses that's how your intuition grows that's how you start working working however you are being told to work up until as i said if we tonga that decides it what it still wants to do self um physical initiation because you 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 owe that sort of as a debt and sort of like as an agreement or as a need that you have to undergo as a person then you know that can happen but nobody is taking away from you the facts and the truth that you self-initiated and you were able to gain rights to assist people who are struggling with you know understanding um who they are you know and accepting who they are and healing them and showing them the way um that or that there is a way if you combine spirituality with just normal physical life for now it is goodbye for me and thank you so